everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I welcome you to another segment of Riding with Smoke, where you take a ride with me to work in the morning, all while I opine on an uh, outdoor kitchen project or perhaps a grill, something related to our outdoor living business. Let's talk about the islands. So again, this is in Rye, New York, Westchester County and it's around a 14-ish foot island, a straight run with a high back bar. And this gentleman came into us and he was pretty steadfast. What he wanted, al fresco, that's it. Didn't want to talk about anything else. Why is that? Well, in his opinion, and I don't have to agree with him, the al fresco um, product line, you know, we're talking about best in breed in the premium category. I've owned one. I'm sure you know, you looked at our videos, done many, 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 many cooks have a long history with the brand. And um, this guy is a, an avid outdoor cook. He's gonna use this year round, and he wants to cook in a, uh, a variety of different ways. It's not just about throwing hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill for this guy. So he felt that the al fresco was going to serve him best, both in the way it will stand up to his cooking and also to the elements when he takes his party um, in the late, through the late fall and into the winter. So al fresco was, that was pretty straightforward. So let's analyze what he did going left to right on the 14 feet. He has an al fresco 42 inch grill non sear burner. He has the al fresco low dry storage pantry 42 inches underneath it. This is gonna act as his uh, main storage area. Moving to the right, he has uh, the Alfresco double side burner. Moving along, he has the Alfresco uh, power, uh, the Versa power cooker, and underneath it, he has the Alfresco 30 inch accessory draw. That's an important piece. Let's talk about both of them. The um, the, the power burner, um, you can do many, many, many things with that. Okay, um, and he opted not to drop it down wanted it at countertop height which to me says that he's going to do a lot of griddling with it as opposed to putting heavy stock pots on it heavy stock pots we want to drop that burner down 30 inch access draw um, or the versa power draw he can now stick a lot of his tools in there for the um, um, you know the uh, he, once he gets the tapenaki griddle for the power burner that could go in there um, other alfresco accessories can go in there for the grill, you know, the solid fuel box, the steamer fryer. It's got a lot of capacity inside that drawer. I love it. I actually stick that drawer um, under um, uh, Kamados, whether it's a KJ or a Primo. Um, they're fantastic to be used um, as a utility draw for many of your smoking tools. Um, the last piece is the AGBC 24 versus sink. Um, with an access door underneath it for, for access to the water. And he'll use this as a bartending station and or a sink. Now, what I really like about this kitchen, number one, the aesthetics are off the charts. Um, he just got a new patio put in the blue stone. Opted not to work off the blue stone with like a blue stone countertop as many people do. Um, he has a, a contrasting countertop contrasting veneer but it all ties in and oh by the way we did not build this island though i did design it okay he um had his old school mason put it together i'll get into a little bit of that as well um because there's one decision in there that i didn't agree with but we'll get to that um so from an aesthetic standpoint it's absolutely gorgeous the stuff is just popping in there i also like the fact that he goes with a triple threat okay it's got the grill um, and there's so many things you can do with the 42 inch alfresco with the inserts and stuff like that and the three, three, three position racking system in the back. It's got a side burner. Okay, as I stated, not the biggest side burner fan in the world, but you know, you can cook with it and um, it, it serves its purpose. The Versa Power Cooker, uh, you know, that's a beast unto itself. You can convert that thing into a griddle. Um, you could use the dual rings on it. I mean, you could, you could be firing out 65, 66,000 BTUs and both rings are on, or you could just use the inner ring. You can cook wok with it. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with that piece. 
So he is really covered in any way he wants to cook. Um, and, he, and as I stated earlier in the video, he's an avid outdoor cook. So there's gonna be, uh, I, I could foresee many times when those three pieces are going to be used simultaneously. Um, what I don't like about this, and it's only really one ticky little thing, is that there was a bit of a debate going on with me and the Mason about the placement of the access door for the gas. Now, he has a dry storage pantry under the grill, so there's no gas access there. That's a sealed pantry system, all right? I usually, especially if there are gas products lined up next to the grill, I'd have an access door somewhere in the front because as somebody who has had major flare-up issues to the point where I had to shut gas off, I know it's very important to have that gas shut off or like within, not even footsteps, like literally there at your fingertips if need be. Um, his mason didn't agree with that. He threw the access door in the back of the island. I simply don't agree with it. I expressed this to the homeowner. He opted to go with the Mason's uh, decision. Be, and the reason I don't like this is if there is a problem where there's a gas buildup, there's a you know a major flare up, a, 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 you know an explosion, anything that could go wrong with gas, he's got to go around the island to go turn the thing off. Um, I just don't agree with it, but they did what they did, and that's it. And that's the beauty of these videos, I think, is that I will call things out if I don't agree with them. And I hope that this is used as an educational tool for you, for your planning. The last thing I'll talk about is the island structure itself. Um, he went with a high back bar, but this bar, this raised area, unlike 99.9% .9 other ones, this is not a seating area, okay? Um, I mean, you can't sit people back there. He's got the access door for the gas shut off, first of all. Um, lined up back there, but it's just not the way his uh, patio situation is um, is laid out. The only reason he laid that bar up was because he wanted to have, um, he liked the way it looked, but he also wanted the um, electric boxes to be facing him um, as opposed to being end capped on the island or being in the countertop, which I'd never agree with that. Um, with that installation, his water will get in there without without question. So um, what he did was he raised the island up and he popped in his um, electric boxes so he could plug in his phone or his blender and it's pretty easy and it also really won't get wet. So um, it's interesting. You just don't see many bars built where there isn't the, you know, people aren't going to be seated at them. I mean, that's generally why people build them. Um, but he has plenty of seating area behind this, uh, behind this island. This is um, uh, something that he just wants to do his thing, all right? He just wants to be cooking there, and it's all good. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that this is lacking um, two of the fundamental pieces of an outdoor kitchen. It doesn't have a refrigerator, nor does it have a trash drawer. I think that... Um, if I'm correct, uh, there's going to be potentially another island built that would have uh, refrigeration um, and trash. Uh, for now, I believe the island is so close to the indoor kitchen that he is going to leverage um, that. And, um, you know, he just didn't feel as if he had the space. He, it's very important for him to have the sink in there and um, he wanted the cooking devices and he just felt that he just wasn't gonna have the proper room to fit a 24 inch fridge and the, uh, and the, um, and the trash straw. So again, I have to talk with him about this. I, I, again, there might be another auxiliary island built that will house that. Um, otherwise, he's just going to go in and out of the kitchen for those things. Anyway, that is it. If there's any questions, you can email me at questions at rofgrills dot com that's rof for ring of fire questions at rofgrills.com we are in a good position in terms of availability so um, if you want to talk about a fall project now is the time they've started coming in and next thing you know you're going to blink for the larger projects 
they're going to start coming in September, latest October, to really start um, um, everything uh, uh, on that front. So that's where I am, folks. Talk to you soon. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and we hope to assist you with your project. Thank you.